scorching earth. So. No, uh, I think that, you know, the earth is being damaged by some intentionally. I think that's something that um, should not occur at all. It is a secondary issue for Christians. Um, everything that we do should bring glory to God, including the way that we take care of this earth. So pollution, whatnot, we shouldn't be doing that. But at the end of the day, the earth is going to pass away, which is what we firmly believe. Um, so it's definitely on the back burner. At, so it's it's not it's a non-issue, I guess. Um, um, my definition of abortion is terminating a pregnancy. Then, no. <laughs> um, but if we're comparing abortions and environmentalism. I mean, I don't even know how to compare them, so I would say no. <laughs> if you take aborting in the context that we've had so far with ending a pregnancy, then that would mean we're giving birth, we're trying to give birth to the earth. That sounds a little interesting, a little strange. So in that sense, I don't think so. But it may be you're saying, are we destroying the earth? So if that's the context, or that's the, the meaning of it, then... So, I probably wouldn't use the word aborting. I would probably use the word killing <laughs> of what we're doing to the earth. Uh, because, I don't know. That's probably just the terminology I would personally use for that. But, yeah, I mean, what, however you want to call it, we are harming the earth. We're doing it great damage. <laughs> you know, we're doing a lot of awful things to this earth. You know, capitalism especially is ripping this earth to shreds, you know, with climate change and these gases and what we're doing to demolish the natural splendor and natural health of this planet. We are destroying that. We are not aborting it. Abortion is health care. Climate change and what we're doing to this earth is catastrophe. People are sinners and they do evil things to one another because we've rejected God's authority and his commands. And it says, himself has said in the scripture that we've rejected God and we know enough about him to be accountable for that and that because we do that, his response of judgment is to turn us over to do things we shouldn't do. So. The reason why there's all these evil things in the world that people do to each other is because we have rejected the one who made us and so he turns us over in judgment and then we do all these awful things to each other and so there we are destroying each other when we do those evil things. There's middle bits of destruction and sometimes it becomes big destruction. Are we aborting Earth? Well here's what I, here's what I know is happening right now is that in real time we have human rights being taken away with the reversal of Roe v. Wade. We have voting rights being taken away systematically and with precision accuracy, stripping us in real times of fights that we had won, movements that had progress written in stone, that folks, a reactionary, rightist reactionary group, taken away in real time. Are we killing Earth a lot faster than we should be? Probably, but I don't think we're aborting it. I mean, the Earth is already here. It's already alive and well. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, abortion involves the flushing out <laughs> of the womb. And we're not flushing the Earth out of the womb. <laughs> not yet, anyway. NASA might surprise us, though. <laughs> Uh, we are doing strange things to the earth. Um, the Bible says that as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest. So we can depend on planet earth to provide all the food that man needs and what have you. Uh, but sin brings a great consequence to the earth. It always has through the history of man. And uh, those consequences are seen in nature. Uh, definitely worried about, you know, my students' children, if they had children, uh, you know, and what kind of a world are we leaving them? My gosh, yes. Are we leaving anything? 
for them? Who wants to have a child and bring them up in this environment, the, the physical climate environment, but also the environment of our country right now? You know, the classic example everybody eventually gets to is Hitler and Ger Nazi Germany or Stalin with his starving millions of people. And then we have other current, more modern day examples that are closer to our time period. And there's more in the past too. So we are, by the, the fact that we are fallen away from God, we are destroying things. And the only way to stop it is if we turn to God and our hearts are changed and we no longer want to do that anymore. But the problem, the thing is, not everyone is going to turn and there's going to be a judgment from God. And so I guess the answer back to the question is, are we aborting the earth? If we're talking about destruction of things, we are destroying each other. But I think some people, that there's people have different ideas about the cause. So the cause is our sin. It's not a natural disaster. It is a man-made disaster. Abortion is not. That is health care. That is reproductive rights. That's bodily autonomy. Those are two totally separate entities. Now, from my perspective, I don't want to have children because I know what kind of earth I'm bringing them into. I know that this world will be on fire at some point, whether it be my lifetime, whether it be my children that I'm not having lifetime, at some point we are going to implode the earth. And it's not worth bringing a child into that. It's not even worth for me to want to see it through that. Uh, just all kinds of things that you would uh, reflect on about nature can be affected by, by man's sinful ways. Um, I don't know that aborting is the appropriate word because abortion is literally a health care decision. Abortion is a procedure. But we are le letting our earth perish, which is not an abortion. We are letting our earth go into disarray and putting ourselves in a position where it may not be inhabitable for human life in the future. And so I would not call it an abortion in any way. However, I do think that we need to make sure that we are taking care of our planet. We are doing, take, doing everything we can to make sure that future generations have a planet to live on that they can thrive on. It, it doesn't make sense for us to continue to pollute, to rely on coal-based energy and to do things that make sure that future generations will have asthma, they will have worse health outcomes, they will fight war over water, that we will have mass migration. None of that makes sense when we have the ability to take action right now. I do think that that is when we would use the term murder. We're killing Earth. But to say that we're aborting the Earth, it's not what we're doing. We are destroying it to its very core. But abortion is not destruction. Abortion is life-giving. It's life-giving to the person that's giving birth. It gives them their life. It gives them their choice. It gives them their autonomy. Abortion is joy. Abortion is freedom. What we're doing to the earth, that's the opposite of that. Very distinct differences. Our voting rights. Our human rights. Taking away your your power to organize as labor to reclaim your time. So how am I going to negotiate for higher wages? How am I going to form that more perfect union that again, we said from day one in the declaration that it is not a suggestion, it's endowed and demanded unto you. How the hell am I going to pursue that more perfect union when we are under assault every single day by folks who aren't even trying to take us back to 50s and 60s, we're talking like the 1850s and 60s. You know, that's what's happening. So are we are boarding America. One day, will, God will put everything right and separate people from those who believe in those who don't. And they, frankly, this is, a hard, this is a strong thing, but you can look it up. I did not make it up myself. It says in Scripture that Jesus will destroy those who don't know him and don't believe him. And those who do believe him and know him will marvel at him and be with him forever. So the destruction by humans of the planet doing evil, you know, just doing destructive things will end by God's doing. So.
as a society uh, in whole as in general as a world society we are um, parasites on the planet and we're destroying it waste product by waste product by waste product we're like fruit flies in a jar are we aborting America well, I don't know but I know that is happening is that a lot of folks are trying to suppress our promise of the freedom of it all. That even from the Declaration of Independence to the Declaration of Sentiments, you know, we had folks who, in spite of their own failings and flaws, we have to look past their own inequities and failings and see the promise of the freedom of it all. You know who did that? Folks like Frederick Douglass and MLK and A. Philip Randolph. Folks today, like right here, who are, who are acting on their own behalf because the establishment ain't giving them a damn handout, ain't giving them a damn help. It ain't even a handout. We're not getting even help. We're not even getting the tools we need to fight back. Uh, well, in Revelation, God's going to destroy the earth with fire, so I don't really care about the environment. Absolutely. There's, there's still time to turn it around, but it's just getting worse. We thought we thought it was getting better. Uh, oh I think it's sipping back the other way. Uh, we we are every single day, like every single day that you know, <laughs> I, we plant native plants around our house, and the reason we do that is to support the bee population and to do what we can to try to support the monarch population. And this year has been there's been so few bees in the past three years that we've been doing this at our new home and it's concerning to me we're destroying something that literally in turn can be a life source for us because pollination is part of life part of pollination creates food for us and we're destroying it mm -hmm. we are destroying it every freaking day and it is devastating to see it with the polar ice caps melting with polar bears starving to death in the arctic because there is no ice for them to be able to actually hunt they're swimming for Man, hours think upon think about hours. this and we're and we're worried about whether someone makes a decision a health decision or <laughs> determining what is best for themselves yeah. we're worried about I'm but sorry, every, but, man, but everything oh man. else can be pushed under the rug. And speaking like, of huh. those native plants, that's why I planted the native plants, and I'm a big native plant person. They're even wilting because there's not enough water. It's mm -hmm. going to be our next fight, but I'm sure the administration or someone will find another big issue and point squirrel, and we'll all look away from it, and we'll all look that way and this way. But it is. It's environmental. It's it's private rights that we're doing. It's your mind your own freaking business. But yeah, we should take care of this earth. It's a gift to us um, and, and everything in it. So we should be good stewards of that. We should want to make it nice here, right? I think there's a really succinct way to say that. And that's to say that an abortion is not killing something, but we are in fact killing our earth. So perfect. Thank you. That's the perfect way to say it. <laughs> Thank you. But here we are because we have it within our own power to begin the world over again. So as they try to abort America, we reclaim our radical history of America in real time to form that more perfect union. And we're gonna win. <laughs> we we saw we somebody we know. <laughs> that was Sorry. so weird. <laughs> yeah. Is he still recording? Here we are. Problem. <sighs> Thank Mind you. your own freaking business. <gasps> oh, she did not. <laughs> 